Clock. Okay, clock. <laughs> hey, everyone, and welcome to the Couch Thoughts podcast for this week. From a couch, I'm Rocky Persinger. With me, Brent Pickens. Hey, how you doing, Rock? All right, man. So <laughs> we'll try this uh, camera video thing again. This yeah, week. <laughs> we were all we were all bragging about our, uh, you know, we were going to have yep. a video last week, and uh, we got cocky. <laughs> we got a little cocky last week. We we're saying, you know, we we're saying hey to all the video listeners. Yep. And uh, we found out that my wife's uh, Canon Rebel T6. Apparently, all the EOS cameras have a 12-minute video limit. What's up with that? 12 minutes. 12. What can you film in 12 minutes? Uh, well, apparently, you can do a mini little uh, YouTube video there on about uh, uh, the Clone Wars. I actually filmed that with, yeah. the, with the phone as well. Oh, with the phone. Okay. Well, yeah, well I, you could have done that with the, the Canon. I could have. It, yep. it was under 12, 12 minutes. It was under 12 minutes. That's what I was looking at. It was so like 11 video. something. YouTube videos is the only thing you could film with, a, with 12 minutes, I yep. guess. But... Anyway, here we are again, trying it again. You know, I yelled action. We got the clacker. Yep, got the clacker. Just, go ahead good. and give it a little clack. Give it a little, give yep. a little, oh, give a little clack. There we ah. go, clack. All right, so <laughs> anyways, guys, before we get too far off on that tangent, I think we're going to go right into a segment here called Things I Hate. Oh, yeah. I need right. to make an intro for this segment. You really do. Like a, Things I Hate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, it, yeah. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. I think we need an intro because uh, this is going to be a recurring segment. Oh yeah, this is yeah because we hate everything. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean actually it might be a, a shorter list of things. Uh, make a list of things we actually like. Yeah, that that would be like three yeah. things. It'd be like fried chicken, video games. That's I. I got two. That's a oh, watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Uh, <laughs> grape sun kissed. Oh, I got one up. Oh, it's out in the van. Uh, I left the ah, left the left man. the grape sun kissed out in the oh, out man. in the family That's... minivan with this little stick figure yep. family on the back. They're falling off. Oh, they're... Well, your family's falling apart. Falling That's apart. What, <laughs> That's what you're saying. Falling right apart. Now. So <laughs> it happens. It, it, it happens does. to us all. <laughs> Life wears you down. That's all. But Brent, what do we hate this week, man? Oh, uh, what what do we hate? Oh, we hate that uh, Toshiba TVs only last. Like ten years. That wasn't even the thing we were going to hate on. <laughs> you went off script. I, I did go, even off. though we don't have a script here. We're yeah. just, just completely winging we're it. Winging so. it. But okay, so we'll, we'll get right whoa, into whoa, whoa, whoa. it. I forgot. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, cable companies. Oh, cable. Co- yes. We hate cable companies. Oh yes, yes, cable. Cut companies. the cord. Cut, oh. Cut the cord. Yeah, I, I shut. Comcast slash Xfinity down. Oh, you showed them. I did. They, uh, uh, I got a, my bill has, for the past year, has been $143. Okay. Cable and internet. Cable and internet. We should say that because. Cable and internet. I haven't turned my cable box on in six months. Well, they, to me, if you sign a two year contract, they shouldn't be able to touch shit for two years. Well, a little riled. They, they changed it. You know, they're like after the one year, it goes up to one sixty-five. So I called them. I thought I could handle it on my lunch. Yeah, well, I'm no, on the phone see, bad for forty-five decision. minutes. The first guy who's talking hundred mile an hour a minute. That's right, hundred mile an hour a minute. It doesn't even make sense. It, I don't think that's a unit of it, measure. It is now. You okay, heard it here it is on the, now. the Couch Thoughts podcast. All right, and we, what what was that again? Miles per hour per minute. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. It's it's a thing here. <laughs> But anyway, you know, I'm just trying to lower my bill, you know, like like all of us do, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. Sons of... So, you know, I'm, I talk to them and they're like, oh, okay, no problem. Well, he puts me on with someone else because I can get internet through them for like $100 a month. So I dropped my bill 65 bucks. Yep. I'm all for it. Well, then the lady, you know, she's like, oh, you've been a long time, da, 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 this, that. And so I was like, yeah, you know, I just want, I just want internet, you know, $100, right? She's like. Yeah, but we have all this other stuff, you know. She's like, well, may I ask why you were, uh, you know, uh, uh, going to cancel it? And I was like, I need more. I need, I need to free up some I money. need money. I'm broke. She's That's like, well, what? do you have a cell phone? I'm like, yes. So then she proceed. Uh, uh, she asked how much it is. I'm, of course, around two hundred dollars a month. And she's like, oh, Xfinity has a. They're they're coming out with a cell phone service. They cover more than AT and T does, which I highly doubt. Uh, there's no way. So, like, the, and she asked have me, "Have you seen how, the map? You seen the map I, in the I commercials? Seen, I know it's it's the everywhere. Verizon commercials. They got red. AT and T's the blue. It's a little less than Verizon, yeah. but you know, whatever. 
But anyway, yeah, you know, uh, and she's like, well, she asks how much I'm paying. I tell her. She said, oh, I can get you that for $150. i am saving you $50 right there. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I just want, I just want. <laughs> I'm not, you're not saving me $50. you are oh, not. Boy. Yeah, yeah uh, it's more hassle because then I have to go cancel AT&T, go through them, that, and that's a, that'd be a nightmare. I didn't even know that Comcast had like a cell phone service. Well, apparently they just started this. What did they do? They buy a bunch of people's towers or something? See, I don't understand this. I, I don't either. Uh, I, I, I should nothing. have brought the... Uh, when Lacey dropped the box off, the Comcast or Xfinity box, they gave her a little brochure. And I'm you like, should have just started cutting people when you I'm, dropped it off. I, I should have. Well, Lacey, Lacey dropped it off. Well, all right. That's probably. another thing. They're like, oh, she's like, well, you have seven days to drop this off or <laughs> you you'll be charged. Days. And, of course, it's all the way in Huntington. Like the bad, the you see the tracks. So I it's mean, like you're an hour away. And, yeah, and a bad part of town. It's just, it, it, it's awful. You know, it should not be that hard. They to, just won't let you cancel anything. They won't. And then, and then she's like, "Well, you should keep basic cable." And I was like, "Well, how much is that going to be?" She's like, "Well, with taxes, that's like one twenty." I'm like. I haven't turned my cable box on in six months. Yeah, just I'm trying to save money here, lady. Then just she, let me do then it. Then she tried to give me a house phone. I'm like, I don't want a house phone. <laughs> need that landline. Well, I don't need that landline though. So it, it you know, it should have been a five minute call. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna cancel this. Okay, okay, you know. And I understand if you have to ask why, you know, yeah. for for their references, whatever. But then, then she just kept going on, and I told her I don't want basic. And then uh, she's like, I just, want she, internet. "I just want internet." She's like, "Well, but but for pennies on the dollar, pennies on the dollar, you can you know have this. Your kids, uh, you have kids, right? And do this." And I'm like, "Yeah, they watch Netflix and Prime. I don't need this." So your problem is you're too nice to them. I That's your issue right there. Because yeah. I, you know, let me tell you how I talk to Directv. <laughs> All right, first off, I call them. First thing out of my mouth, I want to cancel my service. Dang, going son. Right. I'm just, I'm right there. I'm straight to the, I want to cancel my service. All right. So then. Just hateful. They transfer me to somebody who actually speaks English. So there's number one. Get cancel See, my service. Mine could barely speak English. They roll in. Okay. Then the guy's like, oh, sorry. I heard you want to cancel your service. And now I'm like, no, nah, I don't really want to cancel my service. I just wanted to talk to somebody that spoke English. <laughs> All right. So, you know, and then I make change my bill or whatever. Well, so direct TV is just as bad, just as bad as Comcast. I had four or five separate occasions my bill randomly like doubled for no reason at all. And I mean I was getting cable for like or you know satellite for like $35 a month cuz we have AT&T and it bundles it. But uh. you know random times, you know, it just doubled. And before I was saying, okay, I want to cancel my service, you know, when I called, uh, you know, they'd be like, "Okay, let me I, I call this one time." They say I say, I, yeah, I'm, I'm having my bill was was uh, wrong. I need I need it corrected. I'm supposed to be getting all these discounts and blah blah blah. So they're like, okay, well let me let me uh, transfer you to our uh, uh, billing department, right? So then I sit on hold for like 15 minutes, right? Oh, yeah. I get on the phone with another person, and <laughs> they're like. I, I talked to them for like five minutes explaining my problem. Like, my, my bill doubled. I'm supposed to be getting these things. And she's like, oh, let me transfer you to the billing department. And then you have to explain to them what's going but on. But they already, she was supposed to be the billing department. They said, okay, let me transfer you to the billing department. The next person I talked to says, let me transfer you to the billing department. I mean, maybe, they, uh, maybe they're so big, they just got a couple different billing departments. They got departments. a couple different bill. I don't know, because. <laughs> they sent you, know, you to the wrong place. And I told the lady, she's like. I said, I thought you were the billing department. He sh- she said, no, I'm not. I said, why the hell did they transfer me to you then? What was her department then? I don't know. I did, the, she Then she transferred me, and then I ended up hanging up because we were going. It was me and uh, Chase uh, that works at the same company as Brent does. It was me and him on the phone. You, you can ask him about this. It was <laughs> it was bad news bears. I was screaming and cussing and, <laughs> and uh, going crazy on them. So, yeah, they, the bottom line is, man. Cable companies. Cable companies. But what's the alternative, you know? There's there it's not a really good one. So my parents have Sling TV, yep. which is a pretty pretty legit thing. You don't get any local channels, but they have an antenna for that. Yep. So, you know, the Sling TV, you pay $25 a month. You get a, a pretty good bit of channels. And one time I canceled it for a couple months. I just went onto their website, hit cancel, 
it was canceled. Yeah. So you know, I mean that that's that's kind of the way to go. But it, you know, if, if everybody's saying you know cut the cable cord and all this, right? So, but what are you going to go to? Everywhere has a streaming service. Yeah, but and and the streaming. So this is what gets you on the streaming service. If you have cable, you can get those for free. Well, if I have cable, why why the hell am I streaming it? <laughs> so uh, if you have a DVR, I don't know why you're streaming it. Really, so you can just record stuff. You know why? I mean, what's the point of the streaming? I don't understand. I got nothing. Man. I mean, if you don't have cable, then okay. Uh, you know what? Do it like Netflix. You know, for yeah, eight dollar, eight ten dollars a month, you can. That that would still be cheaper than what your cable thing is. That's true, you know. But my issue is everywhere now is having a streaming service, mm-hmm. right? Uh, YouTube has YouTube Red, where they had the uh, Cobra Kai show on. I don't know if you watched that. I have not watched it yet. I the watched I it. With, he uh, said that he liked it. He said it was pretty good. I watched it through questionable methods. And, uh, <laughs> I feel like I should ask. I, 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 you qu- don't want to ask what questionable message I, 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 you know. I mean, were you being interrogated? It was in, a, it, country? No, it was in a back alley. There were, was it some guy's van? He was uh, doing some open heart surgery on <laughs> you? I mean, what? They took a kidney, okay? They uh, took a kidney, and I, mean, I you know, you got I got two? YouTube yeah, right. I, well, you know, I mean, yeah, I just woke up in a, a bathtub full of ice. And it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, and then I had, I had, you know, my key for YouTube Red right is there. Is that all he gave you was YouTube Red? Well, I mean, was, I mean, I feel like, I feel like if you could give it up a kidney, you, you can make some. I thought it was a f- pretty fair trade myself. Huh. Okay. I'm you not. haven't seen Cobra Kai, so you don't know. <laughs> I have not. So <laughs> Cobra Kai is the only show they have on that whole uh, thing. I see. You know, but it was awesome. Uh, you know, they, they brought back uh, Zapka. You know, uh, what was his name? Johnny Lawrence, right? Uh-huh. In the first one, they brought him back, and Daniel Larusso is like a big car salesman now in the town. Yeah, you know, the previews, man. I watch the previews. I'm like, why is Daniel's son such a dick to him for? He is a dick. He's a complete dick. He's like all cocky and stuff now. It's like but Daniel's he's... the bad guy now, right? Well, see, so there was this internet theory for a long time that Daniel was actually the bad guy in the original movie. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I did. That was the funniest thing. That's hilarious. Because it... <laughs> you know... they're just showing clips and it makes it look like. They did the same thing with the Spider Man, the first one. Did you see it? I don't think I saw that well, one. They no. made it like into a horror film. <laughs> it's like. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, he kind of was, though. I mean, this guy is living his best life in America. You know, Johnny Lawrence, he's out there. He's living his best life. And then here comes Daniel LaRusso into town. And the next thing you know, he stole his girlfriend. He stole his karate trophy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He... I mean, so what? He's trying to sweep the leg a little bit. Yeah. That I mean, wasn't, I mean. I mean, you got to sweep the leg. You got to sweep the leg. So, you know, Daniel LaRusso comes into town and just wrecks his this guy's whole life. I'll tell you something. If it wasn't for Miyagi, Daniel, we, we, we wouldn't even be talking about my Daniel's son right now. Well, that's real because they were... Well, one, Daniel's son started that fight, you know, <laughs> that, they, that that Miyagi interrupted. He He's did. the one that started it. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, it's it, by stealing the girlfriend, he, he started this. But I, So, it's all... It, Daniel is the bad guy in the whole thing. That's, that's my point. Yep. I'm, I mean... But so, you know, you got YouTube Red. They got Disney is going to have their own streaming service. I'm going to be paying for that because they're putting a new Star Wars uh TV series on it. Oh boy. And then they're they're going to have all the Disney movies, all Star Wars, all the Marvel movies. So the Marvel movies will get taken off Netflix. I did see something. Is it episode 9 that they're doing? Is it 9? Yeah, they had a bunch did of... Did you uh, see where they're getting with uh, Disney? Uh, is uh, getting with Lucas? Did you see that? Oh, that they I, were consulting Yeah, him. consulting with Lucas on, on the, the... I think that was a rumor. Well, uh, it was through IGN, so... Like... I, did, I don't know. I, I did see it through IGN. I, uh, that they were consulting say, George Lucas on yeah, the script. I will say, I don't go... Like, if I'm on Facebook looking at something... I, I won't even acknowledge it unless, like, if it's movie or TV related, I won't acknowledge it unless IGN, you know, it's through their official like, yeah, site. Yeah, you know, the only thing with Star Wars that I pay attention, though, is StarWars.com. Yeah. So, you know, it, but, you know, they might be, they kind of, you know, George Lucas had a treatment for episodes 7, 8, and 9, uh, you know, and they kind of just threw that out the window when they bought the company. 
uh, from what I hear. So I don't know. I think JJ is kind of just writing the whole thing. I think they had um, George Lucas came on the set of Han Solo, right? Mm-hmm. And because Ron Howard's his friend, because they were uh, a, a movie George Lucas made called American Graffiti mm-hmm. uh, before he made Star Wars. Ron Howard was the star of that movie, so they're like okay. they're old friends. Uh, and Harrison Ford was in that movie as well. Mm-hmm. That was like his first ever acting thing. And um, George Lucas came on the set for like an hour, and then there was a rumor like George Lucas is directing Han Solo. <laughs> you know, so it's like one of those things where like JJ had dinner with George Lucas because they're friends, and then all of a sudden it's like George Lucas is is writing Episode <laughs> Nine. You know, so I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I... But they did. Star Wars officially came out and did a lot of um, uh, casting announcements for Episode Nine, And so this is a pretty big one. They are bringing uh, Carrie Fisher back I, as Princess Leia. I did see that uh, and, through... Uh, unused the, footage. Unused footage, right? Yeah. Unused footage from The Force Awakens. So I'm wondering, you know, what they originally had, the intention was originally in the force awakens for her you know or maybe was she supposed to die in the force awakens is they going to kill her off here i don't i don't think they'll kill her because you she... don't think they'll kill her off yeah because i that, to me it's hard to kill somebody off that actually you know, died you know yeah it is kind of if you're going to put her in the movie at all like yeah. everybody before this casting news came out they thought that it was just gonna like maybe the movie would start with leia's funeral you mm-hmm. know and then well, to me, if they were gonna have her die, that would have been in you know when she go when she's like uh, in the well. It? So at that point, when they were filming that movie, they didn't know she was going you know to pass away. Yeah. So, but uh, so they could have made her die right there. You know, they could have reshot the movie a little bit and re-edited it, but they chose not to because um, you know Ryan Johnson kind of said it's Carrie Fisher's last performance, so we don't want to yeah. you know chop it up or anything. So. I can, I'm kind of with that, you know, but apparently there's a lot of unused footage and stuff that, that uh, they're going to use. So. And Mark Hamill's coming back from this and one. Mark too. Hamill will be back. Mark Hamill will be a Force ghost, yeah. you know, because he, he, everybody's questioning is Mark Hamill going to be a Force ghost in episode nine? Of course, Mark Hamill's going to be a Force ghost. He faded away, man, all he except did. his robe. His robe's just flapping in the wind there at the end of uh, episode eight, but. Yep. Mark Hamill come back as a Force Ghost, and Billy D. Williams yep. coming back as Lando. Yeah, that's, which is awesome. It is. Yeah. That's amazing. I just uh, at the Han Solo premiere, it was um, they asked Billy D. Williams if you know he he had seen the movie or whatever, and they asked him if Donald Glover had his swagger, right? And he said. Nobody has my swagger. <laughs> and it was just like Lando Calrissian was talking right then. So I was like, right there, I was like, man, they got to get this guy back. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, and then... He fits that, that, that part perfect. He is Lando. He is. I mean, even then that Colt 45 commercial, he is Lando. <laughs> you know, yeah. so he completely made that character. He's getting a little older now. I don't think they're going to have him running... Like, you know, Harrison Ford was like running around in, in episode seven. Yeah. You know, and then he actually, Harrison Ford in episode seven on the set, he actually broke his leg. Uh, oh. They had a, a, a automatic door fell down on his leg Man. and uh, broke his leg. If you watch the, uh, the uh, you know, behind the scenes footage, they kind of pretended it didn't happen. Huh. I, I don't know why, like, but uh, yeah, Harrison Ford broke his leg during the performance, during the uh, episode seven filming and they had to, you know, shoot all his scenes later after he was all healed up and stuff. Dang so. Boy. Yeah, that was a big major delay. But yeah, Billy D, man, he's back. It's awesome. I figure they'll have him. Here's what I want to happen, right? I want him to be flying the Millennium Falcon with Chewie. That's all. That's all I need. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know, I, yeah. I, no no disrespect to Ray, but she can't just show up and then take the Millennium Falcon. You know that? Yeah, and I don't even want to get started on the Ray thing. I. I I mean, All right, let's I'm, talk about Ray a little bit. Well, what, what you got? Okay, I there's more. There there has to be more to her story than she was some uh, uh, drunks. I, I don't know. There, yeah, there her, has her to parents be, are dead. There's in no a way, grave. and I get. Yeah, yeah. I, I I get. You know, anybody can be the. Well, well. To me, that 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 is not true. Like like even uh, even even Luke was like, I haven't. I've never. You know. 
uh, you know, uh, there's been so much power, you know, yeah. I haven't been, uh, you know, I wasn't scared of it then, but I am now or something. Yeah. Well, that, and, you to know, me, the, how can just anybody be that strong? I, I don't know. It, see, I, I don't know either, man, but. There has to be more to Ray's story than just just what what they said it was. So Luke, you know, in the original movies, right? Luke has no idea what the force is. After five minutes though of knowing what the force is, he's flying an X Wing down a you know, corridor and out flying Darth Vader, who we later found out is his father, <laughs> and uses the force to blast a, a, a photon torpedo into the Death Star. So, you know, people are saying that, that Ray kinda learned too quickly. Luke kinda did too, but here's <laughs> the thing about Luke his dad was the greatest Jedi Knight to ever exist in the yeah. galaxy. Yeah. You know, and and Anakin Skywalker. So, I think that they will... It, it, one, you look at who told her. It was Kylo Ren. Right. The man could... I mean, he, he's probably lying. He has to be. You know. Well, she has to have... I'm not saying... It, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know who, like like, could be her parents, but it has to be... It has to be somebody powerful. I mean, it, it has to be. Uh, maybe it's Yoda. Maybe Yoda. Yoda's her dad. <laughs> she, I mean, I don't know. She, she looked a little green in that last movie. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like they're going... I feel like JJ, it, it, he's going to make it happen. He's going to make something I hope happen. so. I hope there's more because... You know, like I really like uh, Ray's character and stuff, and I, there has to be more more to her story than just you know, uh, you know that. Yeah, there has yeah. To be. I, I'm thinking it's it's Star Wars, man. Everything is connected to everybody, you yeah. know. Um, but they did say in that same press release where they announced all the cast, they did say this was the last movie in the Skywalker saga. So I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about that. Man. Yeah, that's. I don't know how I feel about that. You're just going to, like, if you want to make episode 10, 11, and 12, you're just going to ditch the Skywalkers? Or maybe they're not going to make 10, 11, 12. Who not? I don't know, man. But I just, I don't, I don't really like that, you know. But you, you look at it, if Ray isn't a Skywalker, then who's a Skywalker that's left? I guess it's just Kylo Ren is technically a Skywalker because he's Leia's son, you know, and yeah. she's a, she was a Skywalker. So I don't know, man. I, I don't, just I don't know what I would want to see in Star Wars if they don't move forward with the Skywalkers. So yeah, I know I know they got you know some. Uh, I'm thinking it's real, right? The Boba Fett movie they're talking about. Well, so they, I know they put that on. They put those two on hold. Yeah, I think they've put those on hold, and they have Obi Wan and Boba Fett. Um, so you know, if they're just going to make a bunch of movies like that, though, like why bother? You know? Yeah. I know they have. They said that Ryan Johnson, the guy who made the Last Jedi, is going to make three movies. I don't think that's going to happen anymore because everybody hated the Last Jedi so much, and they, you know, they people hated the Last Jedi so much that Han Solo made like next to no money. Yeah. You know, it was like a big carryover from the Last Jedi. Everybody hated it. So, and then um, they have uh, Benioff and Wise, the guys who did or behind Game of Thrones. They're making like a series of movies. Hmm. So people are thinking that's going to be on like the streaming service. So that's another reason to get the stream. All this Star Wars stuff. I'm telling you, that's the only reason that they, you know, they're like, I, I hear Disney's having their own streaming service. I say, okay, I, I want, why would I buy this crap? And then they're like, hey, we're going to have new Star Wars crap on here. <laughs> and I'm like, well, screw you, Disney. I guess I'm paying you $12 a month. And, you know, yep. so, you know. There's YouTube Red. Disney's making their own streaming service. You got CBS All Access that they put the new Star Trek show on. You got uh, Hulu. You got Netflix. You got uh, everybody has it. You know uh, HBO Go. You well, got and it's basically every TV like TBS has one. TBS and I was real one. bad about watching it because I really like don't drop the mic. Look, you on the uh, the, the Ice Cube show. Who's in it? Uh huh. Don't drop the mic. Yeah, it's uh, they they it's just rap, but it's celebrity rap battles. Yeah, I thought Ice Cube hosted that. Uh huh. Cube doesn't host that one. No, it's I uh, Me- I think Method Man. Oh, okay, it's, it's Method Me- Man. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know. I I I got onto that, and I really like that show. Wu Tang. 
<laughs> meth, meth man in in the Wu Tang. But so so yeah, TBS has their every channel has their yeah, own. Yeah, USA. I mean, USA, AMC, like they all. I mean, so, so you know, they you go from paying sixty dollars a month for cable for all these channels to ten dollars a month for each channel. Yeah. You know, so are we really moving forward here? That's the thing. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a little ridiculous. The only thing good about those, you don't have all those hidden fees. Because, like, when, when I was on the phone with Comcast, just, or if you look at your bill, you got a broadcast fee. Uh, yeah. You get a, a basic channel or a, a local broadcast fee. I mean, uh, there's all, all kinds of these hidden fees. Your modem rental, you, you, you know, your... Your bo- I don't know. It's it's just ridiculous. All the hidden stuff that they hit you with. Yeah, yeah. You got rent like, and I finally bought my own wireless router because they were charging me like fifteen dollars a month for a, a router, yep. you know, for my internet and stuff. So, um, that we have Sudden Link over here, and it is a little. It's better than Comcast. Yeah, I wish I could get Sudden Link. Yeah, it's a lot better than Com. They don't they don't really cheat you very much. It sucks, Winfield. You, you're kind of stuck. You you can't really get anything. Yeah, I mean it's Comcast. Yeah, my parents live in the same area that Brent does, and they they only have one choice, which is kind of ridiculous, man. It's like a monopoly, you know, because certain areas only have certain cable. You only got one choice, so they're going to charge you whatever they charge you. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, just course. like a water company, you know, like you get one water company, and they're going to charge you whatever they think is right, right. you know. And, and yeah, what are you going to do? Take to, uh, <laughs> go to somewhere else? I don't think so. Yeah, what are you going to do? Get a, you know, I guess you could dig a well. I mean, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but. I don't even know how to start that. I mean, where to start out on that. But yeah, you know, I mean, cable companies just hate them. Yeah, they, they suck. They, they, they do suck. So, so Brent. What what have you been watching this week, man? This week, uh, we uh, well today I watched the good. I was watching the goods right before you called me. One of our favorite movies of all time. Oh yeah, yeah. You got you know Jeremy Piven. You got Ving Rhames, Ed Helms. I can never remember the redhead's name, but she is freaking funny. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, they're just you know the weekend warriors are just. so the, selling cars. The the plot of that movie is if a uh, used car lot is st- or just a car lot in general is struggling, they bring in these guys uh, to sell move their cars, and they're like, it's 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 so funny. They're like, you're bringing in the weekend warriors. <laughs> they they don't have any ties with the community. They just they just sell. <laughs> it's like what? And uh, Jeremy Piven plays the 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 main character there. He's an underrated actor. He is. He is. I mean, if you have not seen this movie, you really have to check it the out. The Goods. You have to go see it. There's a surprise cameo from Will Ferrell. That's one of the funniest oh, things boy. you'll ever see. It, it really is. Uh, In the first the first five minutes of the movie, I remember like like because when it come out, I think it went straight to DVD. It was like fifteen bucks, and you know the case you know has all all of them on it, and I'm yeah. like. Yeah, oh, I gotta check this out. And the very first scene, you know, it's it's that old, uh, the the old guy. You know, he he's like, uh, you know, he he's set, he's pitching these people a car. And they're like, yeah, we need to buy a rock, uh, buy, buy a car, and and uh, to to go climb a rock. He's like, why the hell would you want to climb a rock? <laughs> And he's he's like I miss the old days when when uh, the wi- uh, the women were gals to go play canasta with the girls and he, he's he's like, and men were men and, and we colored coloreds colored and, oh god and he's no, like, he's, no. He's, like, he's like no 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 and he, he's like he he, uh, he tells the girl she's like, all right we're gonna go somewhere else. He calls her a bitch or something. He's like, I can't let you talk to my wife like that. He's like, hey, boy, I fought in a big war. No one's going to talk to me like that. Hold my clipboard. He punches him in the face. It's just so funny. It's a, the whole that's, and that's the first five minutes of it. And the whole movie is just like scene after scene of hilarious stuff. <laughs> it really stuff, is. Man. It's, you know, but, the, when they start all their like actually selling cars, it's just, they it's, it's hilarious, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, they're all having. Uh, uh, Ving Rhames is going uh, going down the hallway. Just no, no, it's the other dude. Uh, he's at you know he's gonna kind of quiz them all on it, and he comes to Dick Lewiston was the guy that punched the guy in the face, and uh, you know he 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 comes to him and 
And, uh, like, he's snorting cocaine off his desk, off his table. <laughs> like, he's... Oh, it's just so funny. Uh, it, and it's a really good movie, so... Yeah, well, that's one of our, our favorite you yeah. know, movies there. Yeah. That's, that's that's up there with The Big Lebowski. Oh, yeah, and that's something you won't hear a lot of people talk about. No, was man. It, that movie kind of snuck under a lot of people's radar, but it, it is one of the, the funniest movies it really is. I've ever seen. So, you know... Um, but yeah, so go watch the goods. It's you know yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely something to check out. So uh, yeah, anything uh, anything you've been playing this week? Well, you... I've been man. It, it's 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 kind of like like too much. Like I'm going through like all the games just they're just lined that up. You there. download all the the twenty five games yeah. or so that you download. Honestly, on your PlayStation. you're gonna give me crap. I've been playing Madden, <laughs> but. I have no desire. You believe for, this guy. I have. I have no desire. I started. Uh, I started with the Rams. You believe this guy? They are really fun to play with. Every year the Rams. <laughs> Every year the Rams with you. I don't know. They're fun to play with. Oh uh, boy. But uh, no, uh, I did. Uh, actually, uh, yesterday, I, uh, a buddy of mine I work with, uh, Jeremy. Uh, he uh, he's been uh, uh, working on his uh, his dirt bike, uh, and uh, he talked me into getting on it yesterday. Oh boy. Yeah, so well, uh, you know, I I wrote down, you know, it's a little intimidating because it's, it, you know, it, yeah. What you know, si- what size it, is it? Uh, I think it's one twenty five. One twenty five. Yeah, I mean, because it, it it's pretty big, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, man, I, I don't want it. You just fix this thing. I was like, I, oh, I was like, it's gonna turn out bad for me. He's like, he's like, man, you can't. You, it'll be fine. <laughs> So yeah, I took it down, rode it back, and I, it, it was a lot of fun. You didn't kill yourself. Didn't kill myself. Well, that's that's good. But uh, anyway, I down uh, I, I, uh, I was at uh, GameStop yesterday, and I ended up getting uh, because I haven't I I played MXGP, uh, the dirt bike game. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Monster Supercross, uh, they put out a, a racing game, like okay. a dirt bike game. Uh, I was playing. I've been playing it a little bit, and it's uh, it, it's actually a lot of fun. So you know that's something. That's something. There's not a whole lot of is like our dart bike games. And yeah, stuff. you know, and I way back to like Excite Bike on the original Nintendo, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, there's a game on Nintendo 64. It's like Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 or yeah. something like that, you know. And I would just sit because you could you could uh, go into an arena and do jumps and stuff and do tricks. Mm-hmm. You know, you can do all these tricks like a. Uh, well, I forget all their their tricks. Like you know, Superman they, or something. Superman and you know, uh, we'll well, see. knack knack or knack, something. Knack knack, yeah. knack knack. So you can do all these tricks, and then you can you know, uh, I played that game for hours, and I just sit there. You know, it's something about racing games that yeah. you just sit there, you zone out, and you can just you yeah, know, and just go. Well, this is kind of cool too. I didn't mess around with it a whole lot, but they have uh, where you can create your own uh, like uh, track. Oh really? Yeah, so you can put jumps in and stuff like that. They had that in Excite Bike too. Yeah, you <laughs> create that, you create that track. They did. <laughs> they just stole from Excite Bike. That's yeah, all. That's doing. all they did. Every every uh, you know motocross game since Excite Bike has just been trying to reach that Excite Bike <laughs> level. Even Excite Bike sixty four. Yep. Tried to get there, couldn't do it. You know. But so. no, it's a uh, uh, it, it, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's something different. So. Uh, I'll I play it this morning, so I mean it's it's uh, pretty neat. And also, uh, uh, I don't know if you checked it out. I was hoping there was more for it, but NHL nineteen, NHL nineteen, the, the, the beta just come out. Oh, the beta! And I didn't get to. I, I created my guy, and they have a lot of customization. And I don't know what it. it of course, I made my guy have long hair. Uh, long hair. He has a beard, but apparently, I don't. I don't know the whole thing. Of course, you may not. I mean, it may not even be out yet. But when you when you select your beard, you have your normal beard, and then you have your playoff your playoff beard. beard. Yep. So I was like, that's pretty cool, you know. So so the, you have the normal beard, and then it grows more for the playoffs. I, I don't know. Oh, I, that's that's just awesome. That's uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm like super excited for it. And I was looking. I think it comes out around October. Yeah, September. That's usually when it comes out. It comes around. You know, hockey season's kind of with football season, really. But I mean, uh, you know, like I'm good on Madden. I got my Madden, but but like, I, I, man, 
NHL. NHL, I'm, we're in there. I really think that's the that's the sports game that I'm most excited about. I mean, I've got I, well, I mean, I've got an NHL hat on right yeah, now yeah. for the uh, video listeners if this works. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> and what's cool about it too, when I download the data, uh, the beta, uh, I guess where I'm, I, I have my 18 save file, mm-hmm. it automatically took me to the Capitals. Which you know that's my favorite. Oh, thing. so so your user settings, yeah, got transferred. Well, they see I, so, they haven't done that. I, they never do that in Madden. No, I feel, I feel like I feel like they're they're watching me though. I feel like everything you do, uh, uh, like I don't know. It's just I thought it was crazy, you know. Yeah, from last yeah. year. So you know, I uh, we decided we basically decided last year that we were tired of basketball. We we're kind of tired of the NFL. You know, yeah. uh, I still love the MLB. That's got a soft spot in my heart, but you know, I don't think Brent does a lot of baseball. So no, I hadn't. I have been big the, baseball in a while. The NHL, man, that's where our new. We decided that was going to be our new like favorite professional sport. Well, and when we watched the playoffs, it was amazing. Like, like I watched every game I could because uh, it the excitement. Like we went, we when we went to our, the the game we watched live. Like it was fast. I mean, it was it's fast paced. It was awesome. Yeah. But then you watch playoff, and playoff like took that up ten. Yeah, they go they go way harder in the playoffs. And to me, you don't see that with, uh, with football, basketball, the NBA kind of though. They slack all year, and then they decide to kind of play in the playoffs. Yeah. But, you know, but. Not like this. This yeah, is like. It, I mean, they they're going. You know, I don't know. I I was just I was really impressed. I mean, it, it really surprised me. Yeah, and, and I, so I chose the Columbus Blue Jackets because it's kind of the closest team to us. Are you gonna and, stay with them? Oh yeah, if Panarin leaves. Well, see, they oh, if they get rid of Artemi Panarin. I I mean, I'll be sad, but you I'm know, gonna stick when, with them. When you sent me that text when they were talking about it, I was drinking. Uh, uh, grape sun kissed out of a, out of a Panarin cup. Yeah, we did. Get, we got a Panarin cup when we, we went did. to. Uh, it was, and this year, uh, you yeah, know, we're definitely uh, definitely want to go watch another game. Yeah, we're going to go one, two games. You know, yeah. we, we got to get back there. Uh, we're going to try to go when they play the Capitals because I, I chose the Blue Jackets. Brent chose the Capitals. They're division rivals, so we, we, you know, we have to fight over hockey now. And their division is is great. Yeah, yeah. The Penguins are in the division, you yep. know. And, um, but yeah, it, it, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. Everybody around here is a Penguins fan. Oh, I, I hate the Penguins. I couldn't do it. I hate anything from Pittsburgh. I, I. Well, see, that's the thing with me. Everybody, everybody around here is a WVU fan, yeah. or some people in this uh, are Marshall fans around here. But everybody that's a WVU fan is also like a Steelers fan and a Pens fan. Well, how do you root against them on Saturday? That's what I'm saying, man. But then on Sunday, you're oh, Steelers are going to do this. And yeah, that. it's you know literally eat shit pit on Saturday, and then Sunday here we go Steelers. How does that? How does that slide, man? I I don't know. I, I don't know, and I had to go to Ohio team. I don't even like Ohio, <laughs> but you know I like the Reds. So uh, and then also like the the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, but we're we're definitely going to hit hit up a game because the talking back about the playoff series with them. I mean the Blue Jackets Capital Series. There were like three overtime yeah, games. Yeah, like, it was exciting. It, it really, was it was crazy. And we were staying up. You know, <laughs> me and Brent, we had to work the next morning. We're staying up to like one in the morning yeah, watching like, this stuff. Oof. Yeah, the the what was it the I think it was the first or second game when uh Panarin uh he he had that putback goal yeah and uh, I I ended up passing out it was like one it was, I mean come on in why why you got to put the game on so late that's I mean, maybe they'll like maybe they'll have a, maybe they'll have an XHL uh, where they cut out the commercial uh, breaks less be, breaks <laughs> maybe they'll start doing that maybe they'll start doing that but you know but that, every game it was overtime and it was it was seriously was twelve thirty one o'clock in the morning well you know and you you have like the only thing about hockey is you have you basically have two halftime shows yes you do you know because of the breaks in between the three periods you you, you basically get two halftime shows and they take forever man. they do. Like yeah. I was when we were at the you know uh, when we were watching the uh, NHL game live, like I couldn't believe the the uh, all the stuff they were doing you know, yeah. the pregame and then then at halftime and even in between like when the commercials were they were doing stuff. Yep. 
flow. Yeah, all the, the, the um, and the stadium in Columbus was really awesome. Oh, it really was. I mean, it, it was a really nice facility. It was. Yeah, and they they had a, they had a wrestling pay per view there too. Yeah, right. A couple of weeks later, yeah. a couple of weeks after we went, uh, sure did. Which I don't remember which one it was because there's think, too many. I think it was Fast Lane. See, yeah. okay, let's. There's too many damn pay per views for WWE, man. There is. I mean, I understand and, people get you know WWE WWE Network now, and they you know you kind of get them the, with that. But to me, the only reason I have WWE Network is to watch the old stuff. Yeah, because I was watching. This is another thing I want to talk. I was meant to talk to you about earlier. I was watching. Uh, I'm, I'm a. I'm a. I'm so, on Facebook. I like like 80s and 90s wrestling. It just right. shows clips of old stuff. Right. And there, Vince McMahon is interviewing uh, uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Ric Flair's a WF, a WF champ at the time. And okay, so it was always better with Vince on the mic. It was. So it was, especially anyway. when he was uh, commentating and uh, doing right. announcing and things. Right. Well, like. Uh, he at the time Rick and Macho Man were feuding, but Rick put out uh, this uh, in the WF magazine. His life he was with Elizabeth before Macho Man was. Ooh. So like, there's pictures of them sitting in their house. I and... mean, I mean, I meant to say, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and and you know, of course, Vince is like, you can't do that. And, uh, and then Rick's like, I can do whatever you want. I'm the WF champ. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, you don't see that now, the rivalries. And that's why it's hard for me to watch it. Because if I have a choice to watch 80s and 90s or now, it's 80s and 90s. Oh, all every day. time. Because the stories are so much better. And I'm, I'm guessing how time's changed, how now you got to be careful what you say or you're too worried about it going on social media of, of uh, this, it being it it, it being uh, you know uh, taken as racist or whatever, you know. But well, the, I mean, they said a lot of shit they, back back in the day there on the WWF. They yeah. really did, but you know, and and at the end of at the end of the interview, and uh, I guess they they're getting ready to fight for the title, and and uh, Flair's like, just remember, Macho Man, she was mine before she was yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. It's, you know, it's that, messed up. Man. It, it is. It is. But you know, well, the thing that always was, was crazy to me about like the the ninety stuff was them. You know, the real life stuff that they took yeah. and made a storyline out of, yeah, it, well, which is just well, crazy. even when DX was making fun of uh, of uh, uh, the Clinton scandal, right? And uh, you know, they they had to get on there and apologize, and uh, they asked uh, Triple H. You know, he he's he, he's like. Uh, yeah, he, he gets on there. He's like, "We won't use anything like ass f or this." And <laughs> he says, and everything, he says out. everything. And uh, you know, he, you know, he's like, "I didn't have relations with a woman. We were up all night." You know, it's just <laughs> it's just stuff like that. That that then it was just it was it was so funny. Yeah, and they they really pushed the line. But, yeah, but now it's. It, well, we're PG. We're not going to do any of this. Well, and Roman Reigns can't even talk. So. No, uh, like you, I got, have you a, got a paper champ with with Lesnar. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, he don't even defend it. You know, he's defended it like four times. Which we were talking the other day about the title, the the yep. the stat when CM Punk had the title, ver- and how many times he defended it versus you know when Brock Lesnar broke his record, but he's defended it like three times. Yeah. You know. And that's all it was to make CM, you know, because they, you know, CM Punk told him to shove it and he's, you know, he's not going back. And, you know. You know, and CM made his money though, man. You know, he made money in the WWE and then, you know, Dana paid him like $5 million or something to, to, to sign with the, uh, uh, UFC, so which to me, I hats off to the man. A lot of people say you know he failed or whatever, but to me, he went out of his comfort zone and he tried something new. He 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 went and and did something new, man. Like he had a little bit of background in kendo and stuff, but but I he, mean he's terrible at it, but he he went for it. Yeah, I mean uh, that was so you know all these people you know bad mouth him saying you know uh, well you got your ass beat this and that. Well, yeah, he may have. But at least you know he stepped out of his comfort zone because he could have stayed at WWE and kept mate rolling in the. Well, he would have had to play the game, you know. Which yeah, he just didn't want to do. And it, I so. kind of think he's kind of the guy that he he doesn't he doesn't handle that stuff well. Yeah, and playing he's, the, he, he's definitely like 
kind of the rebel type right. out, outside of the box. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. He was entertaining. Yeah. They don't want that anymore, man. They don't want that at the WWE. Yeah. It's well, ridiculous. Well, I mean, the, the time when he just went, he sat down, and he just started talking crap about That Vince. was the best thing. They gave him the mic. He came out, sat down at the at the top of the ramp, yeah. and he just started talking crap about everybody. Yeah, there, and man. talking about how, like, you know, it, uh, everybody had to have steroids and how they over everybody overlooked him because he was a little guy, you know, kind of yeah. like a Shawn Michaels type. Yeah, or you know, I mean, even even at the time, Daniel Bryan was in there. right. Yeah, and and these are all guys that come up through the indie scene, right? That were uh, wrestling in bingo R- halls, Ring of Honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that you know, a lot of them you never thought would 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 make it to that level, but I yeah. So my hat's off to CM Punk for yeah, man, for, for living you know. For stepping outside of his comfort zone and doing it. Well, and he's set now, too, man. I mean, he, yeah. he's made his money. He's set. He doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to do. I think the guy should be in movies and stuff, you yeah. know? I mean, I think he's really charismatic and talented. So, oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I and then there's another streaming service, though, WWE Network. There's yep. another one. Yep. So, I mean, you know, I, it's a little ridiculous. Taking over, man. But, you know, uh, so Brent... We lost a dear friend this week, man. We did. It's Brent's 37-inch TV. I'll tell you, this guy, he's been with me for... Well, I've been living at, at where I'm at for 10 years now. Yep. And he... Uh, I got him... Actually, my grandma went with me and... Co- uh, uh, I guess co-signed because <laughs> uh, at that point we had to my, take out a loan to get this my damn credit TV. credit was not good enough. To get approved through Big Sandy, so so Mama went with me, and uh, I made all the payments, but she she helped me get it. And when the PS3 first come out, I had a tube TV. I hooked it up. I was like, they lied to me. There is no difference at all. Yeah, there's no the PS, and I remember when he got the PS3, you know, because he got it first. I, I think I already did. I already tell the story on here about my mom getting oh, me the PS. Yep. Yeah, I did. Uh, so you know, Brent had it. We go over. We're all excited, man. Hook this thing up to this freaking tube TV, yep. and it's it doesn't look any different from it PS2. does not look any different. It's awful. Well, so so I go over there and, I, and I'm telling I'm telling the guy, and he he's like he's like, no, you you need you need a HD TV and you need an HDMI cord. We didn't like, know what the hell HDMI I was. Like, what the hell's HDMI cord? <laughs> And, uh, but, you know, I, I got it and I, I was like, man, on the way there, I remember I was riding with Mama, I was like, man, hopefully they have the TV here. I was like, you know, cause I think it was like a $1,300 TV. Yeah. Or like a 37 inch. Uh, I was paying like, like 150 a month. Which now just. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The other day, my buddy Roger got a 65 inch LED TV for like 480 bucks. It's ridiculous. So, you know, we, I paid. I paid twelve hundred dollars for my forty inch TV, yeah. but yeah, it's so. insane. Well, my fifty five, I paid like nineteen. Yeah, you know, so this was years ago. But man, so anyway, we get up up there. They they have it, and we get to the house. We plug it up, and I'm pretty sure one of the first ones was Lair. Lair, I think Lair was the yeah. first game we and played. We talked about it on here. Yeah, but man. That TV, that Toshiba has been one of the best TVs, like ever. Yeah, you know, it's sitting in the back. You know, it's sitting. It's been. You know, once I got to fifty five, we put it in our room. Well, the light comes on before you. You'd hit the button and you'd hear it click, and then it'd come on. Now yeah. the green light comes on. That's it. Yeah. But rest in peace, my my friend. Thanks for all the times. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, eulogy. Here we go. <laughs> But no, man. Thanks for all the memories. Thanks for all the memories. No, I, I remember that TV though, man. You know, playing the PS3 for the first time, and then, so then you know, Brent gets a 37 inch TV, and then I get a job as an intern uh, in at the uh, Mountaineer Gas as as an engineering intern, and decide that I'm going to buy a TV. So I go out, and I'm just I'm going to get a 37, just like Pickens, right? I'm going to get. 37. One upper. <laughs> 1080. 1080. I don't know what you're talking. Uh, I just bumped the mic, so oh, that's boy. awesome. Uh, but uh, 1080p, you know, I want, I know I wanted the 1080p because the PlayStation 3 had that resolution and Blu-ray. The main reason I was going to get this thing was, one, I had the PS3, and two, 
I wanted to watch The Dark Knight on Blu-ray. So it was 2008, 2009, somewhere around there, right? Dark Knight on Blu-ray. The Man. Dark Knight on Blu-ray. So, which is still one of the best looking Blu-rays that's ever existed. It is, but they never got the sound right. Be- yeah, well, Blu-rays period, man. The it's sound. A, well, is it'd be real quiet. You would turn it down, and then, and then like there's an action scene. It's like, good gosh, I gotta turn it down. Yeah, you know? it's so, it's it's a little ridiculous. Um, but, you know, but yeah, I'm I'm with you. That is one of the best Blu-ray ever. Well, because, and Nolan, Christopher Nolan shot the opening scene. You know, the joke and a lot of the other scenes. I think the the scene in China and stuff like that. He, I think he shot that. Well, I know he shot it in IMAX with IMAX film so it's like ultra ultra HD you know so I go to Circuit City to get this TV Ooh, there's Cir- a throwback yeah, for you a throwback. Circuit City cause uh, my buddy at the time worked at Circuit City uh, or used to at least he, I was working with him as an intern and I think he kept the Circuit City job on like on the weekends or something so I go over there to get his employee discount at Circuit City and uh <laughs> Paid for a warranty. They went out of business like six months later. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> you know, but so I get a 40 inch Sony 1080p TV. I pay like $1,200 for it. And, uh, you know, so three inches bigger than Pickens <laughs> had to do it. You know, I just couldn't let it slide. Always one up and me. Couldn't let you have just one. Can't let me have one. Either. Now we're equal though. He's got the 55. I got a 55. We're, we're equal, but. Well, he has a bigger house, so we're not equal. Oh, he, he, see, he here we go. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I got yeah, kids, that, he doesn't. See, one-upping me all the time. See, but I got a, I got a bigger house, so my TV looks smaller. What do you think about that? Hmm. Huh, didn't hmm. think about that one, did you? Yeah. So how about that? How about them apples? Yeah, my TV takes up a whole wall, basically. <laughs> His TV sticks out in the <laughs> damn hallway <laughs> because the wall's not wide enough. <laughs> But <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's <laughs> so, man, you know, I get this 1080p TV, and I go home, and my room when I was growing up was uh, smaller than the size of the room we're sitting in right now. It was like eight by eight. He also had a, this 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 big guy right here also slept in a twin size. I had bed. to sleep in a twin, man. A twin. I had an eight foot by eight foot bed. In middle room. school, he was this he was this size. He was the same size. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I remember me and Matt went over there and we're like, You really have a twin? I got a I, twin. Because I had a full, you know. <laughs> it's just like it's like how's how's this big guy? You sleep? had a bigger bedroom. How, too. How's this guy I did. I, did. <laughs> I had a full size bed in there at one time. Good when gosh. I was in like fourth and fifth grade, I had a full size bed in there, and you could not with my TV sitting there on the stand. You could not get out of the bed. <laughs> I had to like roll to the end of the bed and then you know slide out the door. Like it just did not <laughs> work. Ridiculous. Man. I had, my my bedroom's too damn small. It sleeps in a twin. I sl- it was an extra long twin. I have you know. <laughs> so really, you put two of them together, it'd been a, a king. It, could, it would have been the the Cali King, yep, been the California been. King. So I slept in half of a California King. Which now that I'm married, I have a California King and I sleep on a quarter of it. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> anybody, is, you know, the, the wife kind of decides that three quarters of the bed is hers and then a little one, you know, quarter of it's mine. ridiculous. She's like three foot. Well, you know, uh, but for those of my wife is four foot 11 and I'm six three uh, and she takes up, she's the boss. <laughs> she takes up the whole, the whole bed. So. Uh, it's kind of like a Chihuahua bossing around a German Shepherd or something. I, I don't know. I, I would I would have said Great Dane, but well, that's just me. <laughs> you know, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to get it for that one. Later. I'm going to get it for that one. Um, and she's probably can hear us right now. So that oh, oh yelling, yeah, she's yelling. She's yelling. yelling. At you. She's, oh, yelling. <laughs> she's mad. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, I get home. This 40-inch TV looks like it's the damn movie theater because of my (laughs) small-ass room. And hook this thing up. I had, you know, my... (laughs) I have my little speakers. uh, Probably the same speakers I have right over there right now. (laughs) Little uh, computer speakers. So I I hook it up, you know, and I crank the sound up. And, uh... uh, you Well, I just remember on your comment about the sound, uh, the, you know, the the Joker, they, they shoot that thing... They shoot the the, the uh, zip line. Oh to yeah. Get into the, uh, and I had the sound crank way up, and you know it's playing the music. It's like ding 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 ding. Like this music, it's making it really tense. 
and then he shoots this thing and it's like boom like you know <laughs> like crazy just loud like and uh i was like oh well i guess I guess the sounds a little crazier on these blu-rays <laughs> But man, I was just like in all. I watched that thing like twenty times, just of the the Dark Knight and how it looked in well, blue. And it looked like you could reach out and touch it. That's the thing that was you. crazy. It was I remember when uh, I I got the Blu-ray. I, anybody over? I'm like, you seen this yet? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah. you gotta check this out. You gotta it, see it. It's crazy. It's one of those. I don't know. It's just it's just see. nuts to go from the PS2 as great a system as it was, and as as good as we thought it looked. To the PS3, which was, you know, the same if you just had your component cable. Yeah. But then you hook in the HDMI, and it it, it it's just a whole nother... So what happens if you take a PlayStation 2 and hook up an HDMI to it? Maybe it's just the same as a PlayStation 3. Uh, Maybe they've been fooling us this whole time. I don't know, man. Because the PlayStation 4 ain't much different from the PS3. Really? No. No. I mean, if you look at the graphics, they're they're all they are a little better. I know but... it, it is crazy if you go backwards on that though. If you're on a PS4 and then you go to a PS2, oh yeah, well, and it's... Uh, it 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 just it blows my mind how how big of a you know. Well, and that's why I have the old uh, sturdy tube TV right over here behind us because uh, you know the PS2 gave us a headache on your 55 inch TV. yeah we were playing trying to play indiana jones and it was not which that game's the graphics still not good at that, in no, that i game. think that's playstation wasn't it mm, i'm pretty sure that's ps2 oh yeah I might but be. uh yeah well i was that was not good so it's not too bad on my old tube TV. i actually don't have that indiana jones game but i'd like to get it to see how uh more fluid it is on my uh tube tv yeah it so I got this big old tube TV behind the camera here. So, um, but yeah, man, you know, just uh, and now I bitch if something's not in 1080p. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, like 720. <laughs> yeah, when I when I'm streaming something and it kicks down to 720, yeah. you know, I'm like, this is. But but when it awful. first came out, what was it four four twenty or something? I four yeah four eighty i four eighty i then there uh, there's seven. 20p or something yeah and I, you know the the uh the old tube tvs are in like 240 or something like <laughs> that like it's not very good but yeah you know but i do i do remember i think we're at your house on your uh on your sony yep and i believe we went to video madness video madness was our local video rental store um, my local video rental store, anyway. I think Brent went to Blockbuster most of the time, but yep. uh, Blockbuster and Hollywood Video. Hollywood Video, but Video Madness was the local version of that, and yep. I loved that store. That was my favorite place in the world. You know, they had the old curtain in the back of the porn section. <laughs> Never went back there. Uh, wasn't a, wasn't old enough. <laughs> wasn't old enough. That's... But uh, but yeah. So I think I know where you're going yep, with we... this here. We we roll in there. We're looking for something to play, and you know, we of course we're hanging out on the weekends, and we found Area Fifty One. Yep. I was like, Rocky, have you played this? And he hadn't played it either. So you know, we we got it. It's got a little alien on the cover. Yeah, I remember, I'd yeah. like to go back and play that. I honestly. would like to play that game. Well, that's a, that's another one of those games you don't see. Uh, I don't remember ever seeing it at Walmart for sale. No. And no, I don't know. I, just thinking back on it, there's all kinds of stuff like that that you didn't. That Walmart didn't sell, and there wasn't a whole lot of yeah. Other and you know, to go. we we everybody's all sad about Toys R Us going, right? Yeah. I was I was too poor to go to Toys R Us. Yeah, man. we never went either. You can't go to like one. It was clear in Charleston, yeah. So you know, we ain't gonna drive clear up there. So you know, people are all upset about Toys R Us. I'm too poor for that, man. Yeah. We had to go to Kmart. All yeah. right. You know, we we went to Kmart and Walmart. So see, we always stayed in the cross lanes area. Yeah, we went to Wal. Mama and them went to Walmart once a month, got everything you needed. Yeah, and then that was that was it. But uh, but no, we uh, we we you know we we agreed on uh area fifty one. We went back to Rocky's house. Uh, uh, you know we we were sitting down playing it. And I, I'll never forget because your mom brought in Doritos. And her homemade pepperoni rolls. Yep. And nacho cheese. <laughs> so that, that was me. So that she knew I always dipped my Doritos in nacho cheese. It was always did it. I never. 
We, I mean, I was, uh, I live with my grandparents, so you know, I had it pretty good too. But I tell you, that opened my, that was, that was great. And it was good stuff, was, man. Her was, pepperoni rolls are legit. Maybe that's what made the game so good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we were just <laughs> high on like Mountain Dew and Doritos and, and pepperoni rolls. So. But man, we're, uh, you know, we're we're playing. It. Of course, we're we're taking turns. I don't think it had a co-op thing. No, it's like a first-person shooter. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, so you know, you're you're in this warehouse, and you, you got to kill all the all the guys uh, first uh, to to go to the next level or whatever. And I'll never forget because there was this blue tarp hanging here. Blue tarp, man. And if you went through it, you know, you walk through it, and it would it would flop back down, and just the the color blue and the waves in it and everything, it just blew our mind. Yep. We're like, that's a damn good looking tarp, you know. <laughs> It's we like, we got to film a video of us going back now <laughs> with a HD TV and and looking at that freaking tarp. Yeah, because I bet it looks like crap it, now. I bet it does. I'm, but I want to I want to find that game. We got to find that game. Uh, we have to find Area Fifty One. Yep. Um, but you know, so we just sit here and stare at this tarp. Yeah, well, for like half an hour. It was man. a whole lot longer than we probably should have. <laughs> But we were like, yeah. look at this tarp. We were talking about this tarp for weeks. We were. We went to school. All of our friends, you got to rent Area 51 and look at the tarp. <laughs> it has to, you well, have to get this. I don't remember much else about that game. Like, I remember the blue tarp. The tarp. That's it. I don't even know if we beat it. We just got to the tarp. And we were like, this life is good. How could graphics possibly exceed this? Yeah. Ever. Just, ever. It just blew our mind. <laughs> yeah, that's... That, and we, we we talk about memories all, all the time, and that that to me that is uh, that's one of my best memories. Yeah, Doritos like, of us hanging out, nacho is, cheese, pepperoni rolls, Area Fifty One, and you know that's the thing. Like we could just get any game, any even if it sucked, and we just sit there and play it and have a good time. Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, we you know yeah. And honestly, if I could go back to a time around that area what was it because i mean i can remember it was uh me you and matt hanging out and we we were in your liver we were in the living room was we, we, kind of but, but have a sleep because my room was too small the room was too small so your mom was cool enough to let us uh play on i think you had a 50 inch or something in the living room but well it was uh, it seemed like a 50 inch yeah it was one of the first Flat screen TVs. Oh, okay. yeah. So it was like eight hundred pounds. Yeah, it was like flat on the front, but on yeah, the back, on the still back, had it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I, this thing has to weigh three hundred pounds. Yeah, like, no, no joke. It is, and I think me and you carried it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know me and my dad carried it across the street to my sister's house, <laughs> and that's where it is now. But I, I think me and Brent carried yeah. that thing a few times and moved it around yeah. the living room. Yeah, we did. And uh, but yeah, just one of those first first model HD TVs before the, you know, thin mm-hmm. type TV. So, but I remember we, uh, I think you bought it. Either you bought it or I bought it and brought it over. I don't remember, but we were playing, uh, uh, what was it? A league, uh, Blitz the league. Blitz the league. Yeah, that was yours. You bought that and and brought it over because I I never bought that game. Oh my god, it was it was so much fun, you know. Yeah, uh, and you know, we we were we were playing the story at the time. Yep. But you know, you, you hit somebody or they land on their head, it shows an X ray of their neck breaking. Or yeah, and we're just sitting there screaming the whole time and having <laughs> this crazy. My poor parents, man. I, I don't like, know how they did it. That's, but like your parents, Matt's parents, and my grandparents, they never. Anytime we all wanted to hang out, it's like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember them ever saying, you know, any of them ever saying no, you know. No. Or you know, it's it was always like if Rocky was at my house, hey man, uh, 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 you know where everything's at, get it. Yeah. You know, if if we were over at Matt's, uh, Matt's mom and dad's, it was the same thing. Same deal. Vice versa. I mean, it. And to me, that that that's. I don't know. To me, that's more than more more than just friends. Like, yeah. like, like that's fact. Because uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people you, you're so called friends with, you know. But like, to me, when you can be yourself, yeah, it feels like you know. If I was over Rocky's house, you know, well, this is home, you know. Yep. And I don't know. It. it 
it, it, it meant the world. It meant the world to me then, and I mean, it, it, it means everything now. Yeah, you know, was, and we talk about a lot about how you know how do you how do you get friends after you're 25. Like, I don't yeah. even know if you can get, like, true friends after you're, like, you know, 25 or so. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, man. a lot of times you'll be at work you know, or you work with somebody long enough, you're, 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 you think you're pretty good friends. You might even hang out. But then if they quit or leave, it kind of shows how, like, yeah, how yeah. good of friends you really were. Yeah, you just don't see them again. Yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah. There's tons of people like that, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, I have a few friends now that I still... You know, from my old jobs that I talked to and we're oh, good yeah. friends. But, yeah, man, by and large, it's just like you work with somebody and then you leave or they leave and yep. you just never hear from them again. Yep. It's just one of those deals. Which This is a knock at Steve, uh, just in case you you're, think it you know, is. If you're knocking Steve, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of but here, Steve. Didn't... I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> I love you, man. But man you're we, my boy. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> but, no, we, we all need to get to It's been a little too long, but... Uh, I I think you you know you're exactly right, and you know even if you think back, think back on high school, because oh, at yeah. least for us, we sat with. I bet you there was fifteen twenty people that yeah, like, we, like we sat around pretty and we, deep in a squad and there. we talked to. But then on the weekends, it was basically me, Rocky, Matt. I think Tyler was there. You yeah. know, there was some, but and Jerry, of course, Jerry. You know, but he went to a whole different school than we did. Yeah, but. You know, uh, in high school, like, there's a lot of fake people. And that's the thing that, you know, you don't realize then. You know, uh, you think all these are your friends and they have your back and all this. And then, you know, you're, next thing you know, you're, you're knocking on 30. And you have three, maybe four people that you could, if something was going on, you could call them right this second and you know... You knew with a shadow with, with a shadow of a doubt that, that that they'd be there in a second. Yeah, you know, and you just it, a lot of people just disappear through the years. You know, yeah, and, yeah just and fade, just fade to block. No matter yeah. how hard you try to keep in touch with them or whatever, it's just kind of you know gone. Yeah, whether it be you know uh, drugs, doing their own thing, whatever you know, and it it sucks. But it, see, it's, I'm just so backwards now. I don't think I I know how to make friends anymore. Yeah, I, I just don't know how to do it, man. Yeah, but I just keep to myself, you know. I'm over in my own little world, and I come home to my office here, you know, hang out, play video games. And yeah, I, that's all. That's all I, you know. So, you know, maybe maybe it's us. I don't know. I, maybe but it's I too mean, hateful. I, I, I am very hateful. I mean, I, I'm I'm a mean guy. Yeah, I mean, oh, I'm, you're I'm pretty not, approachable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's the the resting bitch face too. <laughs> but I'm sure people just love coming up to me. This guy's so angry. Bro. Why is he so mad? <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, I, that blue tarp in Area 51, that was yeah. just, that was, we still talk about, we're talking about it today, 10 years later, you know? Yeah, I mean, who, who would have thought, think such a little, so, so, I mean, something, something is as little as that, you know, when, when you got the PS3, and I'm sure, you know, people have, you know, similar stories like this, yeah. but who would I mean... I mean, was that Area Fifty One's thing? It was like I'm gonna get some people to notice this tarp. No, see, I think that was the whole design team. They had like the the entire budget of the game, right? They had ninety percent of it on that tarp. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that because they that tarp was it moved like real life. It did, you know, stuff and yeah, that tarp, man. Like I said, I, there was I don't remember a whole lot, but I'm gonna look into. Picking that game up. We got to eBay that game or something, yep. man. We got to get Area 51 back. Yeah, and I want to film a video of us reacting to the tarp. Yeah. We're going to, we've got to, we'll have to fight our way through to get to the tarp part. And, uh, and then I want us to react to it because I think that'd be hilarious because yeah. it'd probably look like crap. Now. <laughs> it probably would. It's like, what was, what was we so impressed with? Well, we're, we'll still talk about that tarp, man. It was just, you know, it was just a, a sign of times. It's like, you know, when it went to PS2, you're like, look at these graphics. Yep. How could it ever get better, you know, that everything's uh, ten times better now. Yeah, I think it's crazy. It, uh, like, especially if you look at, I like watching the videos on, like, where Madden through the years mm -hmm. or NBA through the years. Yeah. Because it's like, are you kidding me? Uh, courtside, you know, it's like, what? Oh, how did we ever think this was good? Courts, courtside's still awesome. The, the gameplay courtside, NBA, uh, Kobe Bryant's NBA courtside. Still awesome. 
The controls are wonky. The Kimbi Mutombo. But you know that, that I love. I love seeing you know the the how thing you know say you know in the nineties to now. Yep. Especially when it shows game after game, and. Uh, yeah, I like I like those like evolution of yeah. you know through the years or whatever. Those are, and it's it's really cool. impressive to like how much it, uh, you know a game can change, especially a long running game like a Madden yeah. or something like that. Uh, but I I think I think it's really cool. Blue tarp, <laughs> blue, tarp. blue hashtag blue tarp. But uh, that's why we'll call this this <laughs> this, this, blue tarp. this blue tarp. Uh, I like it. One thing before we go here, we're wrapping up. One thing I want to talk about. Wow. I got, I got one thing. Yeah, we kind of blew, blew through here. Um, one thing I got to talk about. I was watching again for the millionth time Raiders of the Lost Ark last mm-hmm. night, right? It's on like TNT or something. So, at the opening scene, the, the famous sandbag scene, right? Mm-hmm. He gets He has some sand in a bag. He looks at the golden idol. He takes the sand. He, he, he dumps, you know, some of it yeah. out. And then, <laughs> and then he said, you know, he 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 uh, he switches them, uh-huh. right? He switches the thing. So this guy is an archaeologist, right? Uh huh. So he should know a little something about like chemistry or physics or something, right? Yeah. Here's my here's my issue with this scene, guys. Uh, and you know, this may be ridiculous. So I don't. <laughs> this is maybe ridiculous, but I take famous scenes and just nitpick the shit out of them. So he knows he should know as an archaeologist. He should he should know about minerals and stuff like that. Gold is one of the densest, the most dense, uh, you know, materials on the planet. Mm-hmm. It's heavy, you know, it's really heavy. Right. <laughs> Why he takes sand? So he's got a little bag of sand, and it's a little bag. <laughs> it's a little. It's smaller. Then the gold idol. The sand is well, the, smaller the than the gold idol. is like this. I know. It's and the like... sand is like, you know, pretty small. So he thinks that he's going to... This little bag of sand, which is not very dense because it's, you know, separate particles. He thinks that that is going to be more dense than gold? <laughs> How does this make sense, man? You, you know what I want to watch? I'm all about these, uh, What what's wrong with the, the movies. yeah. Uh, I've watched on, ta- on, on on all kinds of, but I have not watched one on any of the Indiana Jones. Yeah, we need uh, to go have to check that out. And well, see if that's that, on that there. might be one of them. It yeah, might cause, be. Yeah, because I, that's I was watching that last night. I've seen that movie a million times and never thought about it. But I'm sitting there like that sand is light. <laughs> Gold is one of the heaviest you know yep. materials around. What what is Andy thinking, man? <laughs> so if anybody out there knows what is Andy thinking. Uh, tweet Harrison Ford. <laughs> Write him a letter, and then he, you know he'll tell us to go to hell. So <laughs> Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. You still got to watch Blade Runner. Yeah. Well, which I uh, real quick I've watched uh, like three quarter of it. I just got to finish. There you, know, go. there you go. But but you so kid, far you got I've, kids. I've, you got to watch movies in stages. You do and yeah. But uh, I'll probably just watch start over again and just watch the whole thing. But uh, I really like it. I, it's I mean, legit, I, man. I, 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 and I see everything you're talking about on yeah. it too. So, but maybe we'll do a. So when Brent gets done watching Blade Runner, we'll do we'll do a little Blade Runner discussion. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, but for this week, just go watch the goods. We'll that's what we'll leave you out. with. <laughs> so, guys, that's been the show for this week, the Couch Thoughts Podcast. I appreciate you guys listening this week. Uh, you know, we you can catch us on Facebook. Just search the Couch Thoughts Podcast on Twitter at Couch Thought Pod. Uh, YouTube, hopefully. The video will turn out this time, and this video will be on YouTube. As long as it's still recording, but uh, yeah, as long <laughs> as it's still recording, uh, I'll be. I'm posting, you know, just random videos on there along with this, the videos of this podcast. Uh, and like we said last week, that'll kind of act as a repository for all of our old podcasts uh, because we only have a certain amount of storage space on Podomatic to to keep the old uh, podcast episodes up. So uh, YouTube, uh, it's. The Couch Thoughts podcast again. Just search that. That should it should be the first channel that comes up. Uh, the Couch Thoughts uh, podcast. And I bumped the mic again. Here we go. And if you hadn't checked out Rocky's uh, video on YouTube, you ought to check it out. Uh, it's his. Uh, it's a good story about the Clone War. Attack you know? of the Clones. Attack, yeah. Attack of the Clones. I'm yeah. Sorry. 
And, well, we were uh, talking about Clone Wars last yeah. week. But, yeah, the, the, I did a little video on Attack of the Clones, just a little story I had just to uh, test out the YouTube link. And, and it, it was really good, you know. Well, I appreciate and, that, man. Yeah. But, guys, that's it for this week. Until the next podcast, later. <laughs>